So hey everyone, here are 9 transitions for Premiere Pro. Of course, you're going to need the Sapphire plugin for these to work. I'm also going to be going over each transition as they are not easy to use. So first of all, what you want to do is have your two clips ready and you want to place an adjustment layer above the two clips. Make sure it is six frames long on both sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Head back to the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, which will make 12 frames in total. Once you download the presets, you want to right click over here where it says presets and just click on import presets you want to import each transition by double clicking on it once you are done head over to the effects panel and search for tr and then underscore now all of the effects should appear the first one is called distort so i'm just going to drag it onto the adjustment layer and the first thing you want to do is make sure that this keyframe for distort chroma is in the center if it's not centered then what you want to do is open it up and then just move the middle keyframe to the center i don't need to move mine because mine's already here as for the levels you can leave that but if you do want to center it you can but you can just leave it as it is the next one is a scale out so i'm going to drag it onto the adjustment layer again you can see that these two keyframes are in the center between the two clips so there is no need for me to move them and it should look like this the rest of the effects work the same way so i've got the third one which is called warp bubble and as you can see it's centered in the middle as well the fourth one is called inverted distort now this one is different for this you want to make sure that the adjustment layer is one two three four frames long on the left and on the right which will make eight in total the next Next one is a warp puff and it's the same as the first and second 12 frames in total make sure it's centered and you're done the next one is called a quick flick and you want the adjustment layer to be six frames long so one two three and then one two three once you do drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer it should be centered like this as a result you'll get something like this the next one is called pseudo and it looks like this once again 12 frames long make sure it's centered like this these two should be in the center and this one should be one keyframe back number eight is called waves once again it looks like this and you just need to make sure it's 12 frames long the final one is called vortex and you do need a longer adjustment layer so six on the left one two three four five six and then you want to extend the right part to the end of your chosen clip so mine is going to reach the end of this clip as you can see and once you put it onto the adjustment layer it should look something like this now although that's how you use these transitions there are going to be some issues that you may run into number one it's not working on the adjustment layer let's say that you add a distort effect to a 12 frame adjustment layer but for some reason the keyframes do not work it looks like this absolutely nothing what i recommend you do is create a cut for both clips just like the adjustment layer six frames long for each clip so one two three four five six one two three four five six and make a cut so now i have 12 in total right here highlight both of these cuts and right click and you want to click on nest and then ok now if you do add it onto the nested clip it should work and look like this of course you can apply this to the other effects so i think this one was the flicker three frames long on each side just make the cut nest it and then of course apply the effect issue number two sequence frame rate now of course it's going to look different for you if you're using a higher or lower frame rate my sequence is 24 frames per second and if you're using something higher for example 30 you may need to adjust the keyframes and it may only be a little bit that you might have to move around or it might be a lot you may also need to extend the adjustment layer so if you're using a 30 frame rate composition let's say you extend it by one frame on both sides and then if you apply the effect it may look better so do keep that in mind if the transition is too short or looks very stiff all you need to do is increase the adjustment layer by a few frames issue number three and this is going to be the most common one the presets are not working for you and the only reason as to why is because you do not have the sapphire plugin in installed it's not part of premiere pro you need to install it separately but if you do have the plugin installed and it's still not working then you probably have a very old version or your gpu is not working so what you need to do is head over to file and then project settings general change your renderer to mercury playback engine software only and click ok but do keep in mind that this may slow down your timeline and also make premiere pro lag a little more anyways that's all for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace